everyone. Welcome to Thoro Newspaper Analysis, which is presented to you by Law Seeko. So today we will be discussing two articles. Uh, basically, they discuss about the same issue. That is why we have amalgamated both of them. So they are friend and neighbor from the Hindu and a friend indeed from the Indian Express. They both uh, discuss about the important relationship of friendship and bone homi, which is shared by uh, India and Bangladesh. And on what other issues should we be discussing at length, since it is an important year next. Next year for Bangladesh and India as well. So let's see what is it about. And the second one is news and flash. So if you're also preparing for judicial services examination, you can definitely have a look at the Lord of the Courses, which is judiciary, uh, which is the judiciary test prep course coming from Law Seco. So we have all this course drafted very amazingly for all the judicial aspirants, and also from the landing page, the link to which is there in the description box, you can download free study material as well. Let's see what is the multiple choice question from yesterday's discussion. Tuberculosis is a, what kind of disease is it? It is a bacterial disease. Second, communicable. Third, fungal. Or fourth, A and B only. That is bacterial and communicable disease. You can write down your answer in the comment section below. So this is the descriptive question for the day. Discuss how strong relations with neighboring countries like Bangladesh can reap benefits for India. What are the possible areas of collaboration between the two countries? So this you will be able to understand once we have discussed today's article. So on the 50th anniversary of the 1971 Indo-Pak War, Bangladesh Liberation War, India and Bangladesh held a virtual summit. Now, as we know, it was the Victory Day, which was celebrated by Bangladesh uh, since it was in the 1971 Indo-Pak War, because uh, Bangladesh was then known to be as the East Pakistan. And India had, a, had played a very important role in liberating Bangladesh from Pakistan. So that is why it is basically the uh, 1971 Indo-Pak War is also called as the Bangladesh liberation war wherein the 50th anniversary of it had been celebrated now so it is it would basically for the independence it will be the next year but this year has actually officially com completed this time and that is why a virtual summit was held between uh, uh, india's premier who is uh, our uh, prime minister narendra modi and uh, there uh, the the leader over there we have sheikh hasina so let's understand that what are the current issues that are going on between the countries and then what are the areas of strength that we need to discuss in the coming future. So first is the problem of illegal migrants from Bangladesh. Now, as we know that Bangladesh is that international country that is that, that is that neighboring country of India with which India shares the longest of its international border. So as we know that there are various states in India, like we have our uh, state of West Bengal, which uh, shares a very long boundary with Bangladesh. Then we have uh, Meghalaya, we have Assam, we also have Tripura. So there are a lot of countries we have Mizoram. So we have a lot of country, a lot of states in India that share a very long border with Bangladesh. And that is why these northeastern states every now and then face a huge problem of illegal migrants coming all the way inside the borders of India. And due to which many a times violence is seen against these people. So 25 Bangladeshis were killed in the first six months of 2020, because when they are considered to be as Bangladeshis illegal migrants, they are treated with a lot of anger and hatred with the common people of those very states. And that is why many a times they are lynched by the mob, which is definitely very barbarous but uh, the, both the countries need to uh, address this problem very soon. Then the Tista water dispute remains unsolved. Now, as we know that Tista is a very important river when it comes to Northeast India, as well as for Bangladesh. And about the water sharing of Tista River, it has been has always been a, you know, a matter of dispute between India and Bangladesh. Though many a times we have tried to resolve this issue, but till date, no such uh, credential or substantial a difference or any kind of resolution to this dispute has been brought. And that is why it is still unresolved and we need to take care of it. Thirdly, the Citizenship Amendment Act, now all of us know about it and the proposed National Register of Citizens, because as we know that uh, there were some, uh, you know, the, though uh, for the Northeastern states and specifically for Assam, there are different rules for the uh, National Register of Citizens and the CAA, but still uh, it was taken as an unwelcome step by the Bangladesh government, wherein they thought that 
because as we know that we have to uh, if this you know becomes completely uh, it is brought in practically then uh, every individual will have to prove his nationalism and citizenship so in that regard those who would not be able to prove so will either be deported to bangladesh or to the relevant countries or they would be detained in some kinds of prisons or something like that so definitely it is not a welcome step when we want to uh, uh, harness the you know uh, growth and friendship between the two nations and uh, ms sheikh hasina ms sheikh hasina she called it as an unnecessary and unwanted step so the next is china's increasing involvement in bangladesh so infrastructure investments and expanding economic cooperation now as we know that very recently china has invested in constructing uh, a huge highway that would uh, highway as in a huge uh, passage that would be able to connect uh, bangladesh and uh, china so for that uh, it is also seeking a lot of interventions in in the indian land as well uh, so china is otherwise also making very uh, you know huge investments in other infra infrastructure buildings and infrastructure uh projects in bangladesh which uh, definitely would give bangladesh uh, a good image about china which in times of adver adversity uh, it would not be a good step for india because uh, if at all we would count bangladesh as a country that is friendly to india and that in the international space would support india but if at all bangladesh would be supporting it to a, uh, china would be supporting bangladesh to a great extent so there might be an inclination that we would be able to see on the side of china and that is why india should make sure that the countries with which it has always been having good relations should still stay at its own side even if the example of nepal should be taken over here now here are the agendas that are discussed in the summit so restoring the natural connectivities between west ba bengal and india's northeast so because obviously bangladesh is the main uh, landmass which is there between uh, the uh, west bengal and the northeastern uh, states of india so that is why good relationships with bangladesh can ha definitely help uh, a greater connectivity then expediting a study into a bilateral comprehensive economic partnership between the two countries strengthening the river water transport system including the tista river managing the trans boundary elephant corridor because as we know that this area also is very good and very uh, well known for its elephant a corridor so we can have a consorted uh, elephant corridor built so that uh, this ecological step can be a welcome step in this area then uh, trade liberalization setting up of the ceo forum so this also will help the uh, flourishing the trade of both the countries as we know uh, bangladesh is uh, you know in the uh, in this area in the southeast asian uh, region bangladesh uh, has a huge trade value as in there is huge trade uh, import and export from india and bangladesh then regional connectivity with nepal bhutan myanmar and thailand would increase and improve if at all the uh, connections or the friendship with bangladesh would increase at the same time so here are some uh, you know the statistics like bangladesh trade with india as you know for financial year 15 16 17 18 19 this is the import uh, that has been taking place and this is the value of export so this is a very important thing then total trade with bangladesh if you see from indian side so here is from india and china now as we know that the trade with china is greater but still india is uh, existent and we need to increase this share of our trade so this is the bangladesh as you can see this entire area this is west bengal this is assam this is meghalaya and this is tripura mizoram so these are all the states and this is the entire situation with this let's see what do we have for news in flash solar winds hack so this can be a question in prelims as to solar winds was seen in news what is it and definitely we would might uh, be inclined to answering something relating to renewable energy but it is also a hack which has taken place in united states so basically it is a cyber attack recently discovered in us which has emerged as one of the biggest ever targeted against the us government its agencies and other private companies So it was first discovered by the U.S. cybersecurity company FireEye, and techno uh, technically first broke on 8 December 2020. So definitely they are finding their ways to uh, take on or to you know pull off pull off with uh, this cyber attack called as SolarWinds attack. So this was all for the day. If you wish to download the PDF of these slides as a per today's discussion, you can join our Telegram group. The link to this group is there available in the description box, and also you can uh, visit our uh, website, which is www.lawseeko.com, for any other kind of information. Thank you so much.